Chartered Accountants Ireland, in conjunction with CCABI, is hosting a number of meetings next week to discuss the future of financial reporting in the Republic of Ireland and the UK, uh, arising from a number of ASB proposals. My name is Ronan O'Brien, I'm the Director of Communications at the Institute, and I'm joined by Technical Manager Mark Kenny to discuss uh, these issues. Mark, what kind of changes are being proposed in relation to financial reporting? Um, well, Ronan, the changes come from the Accounting Standards Board in the UK, uh, and in a nutshell, uh, it's proposed to replace current UK and Irish GAAP as we know it with a differential financial reporting regime of three tiers uh, based around the concept of public accountability. So in Tier 1, uh, which will uh, relate to publicly accountable entities, uh, they use uh, EU-endorsed IFRS. Tier 2, non-publicly accountable entities will be required to use the financial reporting standard for medium-sized entities, that's the FRISME, uh, and it's uh, an adap adaptation by the ASB of the IASB's IFRS for SMEs st standard for use in the UK and Ireland. And Tier 3 will be for small, non-publicly accountable entities, and they will use the Frizzy. Um, in companies in Tiers 2 and 3 can opt for the higher regime, uh, and there will also be um, reduced disclosures for uh, subsidiaries in Tiers 1 and 2. Okay, and, and what kind of companies and who exactly would be affected by these changes? Um, well, the vast majority of companies in Ireland and the UK uh, apply UK and Irish GAAP to, uh, to their financial reporting uh, and will therefore be affected by these proposals. Um, publicly accountable uh, entities are defined as those um, that are uh, either have their uh, debt or equity instruments traded on a public market or they are deposit taking and or uh, hold assets in a fiduciary capacity for a broad group of outsiders as their primary business. So the examples would be uh, or would include uh, banks, um, insurance entities, credit unions, uh, building societies and the like. Um, <clears throat> Unless such entities uh, qualify for the small publicly accountable exemption, um, which uh, where they have to meet all three criteria in company law for qualifying as small, uh, they will be required to use EU-endorsed IFRS. Um, Non-publicly accountable entities um, will be required to use the FRISME, uh, but can also opt for full EU-endorsed IFRS. Um, and then uh, small companies will have a third choice, which is the Frizzy. Um, the proposals will also affect, as I say, uh, subsidiaries. So some subsidiaries may have in the past opted to apply uh, IFRS accounts under company law. Uh, they may now qualify to uh, apply the reduced disclosure framework in Tier 1 or Tier 2. Um, other entities that will be affected by the proposals include public benefit entities um, uh, and the proposals there uh, allow for the, the development of a new public benefit entity standard, though that's still under development and we don't have the detail yet so it won't be the subject of the presentations in our meetings next week. And what do CCABI and I suppose the ASB hope to get out of these uh, consultation meetings? Um, the, the purpose of the meetings uh, in, in Belfast and Dublin next week uh, is twofold. Uh, firstly, we want to raise awareness of the proposals and highlight the changes in the proposals since the ASB's last consultation process, which took place in the second half of 2009 and early 2010. Uh, and we also want to encourage uh, as broad a spectrum of um, stakeholders as possible to participate in the consultation. Um, at these meetings next week, there'll be ample opportunity for comments from the floor, questions and answers. Um, so it'll be an opportunity for uh, interested parties to influence the ASB. Um, and we would encourage them also to formally respond to the ASB by the deadline date of 30th of April. And finally, Mark, is it too late for interested parties to at attend these events? No, there are still place, places available, Ronan, and uh, interested parties can register on the link below. Great. Thank you very much, Mark.